Hello everyone, it's time for a little bit more Shrek Super Slam. I got a comment on the first video of this asking if I could show off the Mega Challenges, which just by the name I didn't exactly remember what they were, but now that I look at this thing, um, or looked at it because I'm doing this in post-commentary if you can tell, um, I, it's very familiar, and this is probably what I spent a good portion of my time playing this game on. As why I was confused when I first played through the story mode, because I remembered there being, like, way more, like, structured gameplay in this to play through, because I own this game for the PS2, and I have for a bit, and I, uh... Um, once again would always rent this game uh, when it first came out from Blockbuster. Uh, but yeah, they're just these challenges. They're usually about, you know, getting a certain number of slams in. This one is that every hit is a slam, so you just have to get... You have to slam the opponent eight times in less than, I think it's two minutes or whatever, so... Or probably less than that. But yeah, obviously these are the first ones, so they're pretty easy. Um, I'm only showing off a couple of them here. I didn't want to make this another whole, like, half-hour video of this game, because about halfway through playing all of these in this recording, I realized that this would probably be a good backdrop for a stream at some point. So I think I'm going to continue in lieu of doing a full Let's Play of this game. And, there's lots of gingerbread men. In lieu of doing a full Let's Play of this game, which wouldn't really have much of an end, um, I, I think I'll just continue with these in a stream sometime. Because I've been needing another game to casually play through on stream after I finished... Battle for Bikini Bottom and the Spongebob movie game again, and started the Spongebob movie game a second time. <clears throat> and I think this would be a good one. So yeah, we're just throwing the cookies, the cookie boys, into the fire. Pretty straightforward stuff. So, yeah, um, I've been trying to figure out what my uh, secondary, my Tuesday-Thursday game should be, because I've been sort of very intermittently, very sporadically doing, um, you know, uh, just random games, like Let's Tries and stuff, and... I think it would be better to have, like, a short game going on, uh, as well as GTA 4. As much as doing just random stuff is fun, I can't, like, think of them and do them quick enough <laughs> to have, like, a good number of them every week, so... I think it would be better to just find, like, a short game, but I just don't know what to do. And it w I would want it to be something that I've played through at least most of before, uh... Just because a blind LP just takes a little while. There are a lot of older games. I realize I haven't done any 2D games in a while, so... There's, like, some NES and, like, Genesis games. Really just, like, NES. Or more like Game Boy Advance. There's only, like, a couple Genesis games I've really thought about, but... Um, none of them are too long. I just haven't really played them. I wanted to do uh, Astro Boy Omega Factor for the Game Boy Advance, and I've played through the first couple levels of it, and I actually find it pretty hard. Um, so I, I would have to do a little bit more of that. And here I was confused about what exactly you're supposed to do, because I forgot to read the fucking instructions. You're supposed to just hang on to this big Pinocchio head. I thought you were supposed to throw it in the fire 25 times, but then I realized that Pinocchio was just trying to avoid me and holding it, and that's how you accrue points, so, but here, and I got it. And I'm, uh, playing as the scary Shrek puppet. Uh, but yeah, so, I don't know what I'm gonna do for a secondary LP. There are other games that I'd like to do Let's Tries of, but I don't want to just be doing that ad infinitum. And I mean, the point of the Let's Tries is that it's for me to gauge, like, whether or not it would be a good game to do a full Let's Play of, so, I mean... 
I, I could try Chicken Little. I would want to know that I could beat that first, because if you'll remember in the Let's Try, I uh, noted that there is a point in the game that I never got past, and I still have not to this day. But I also haven't played that game in a long time, uh, like up to that point. So, I don't know, we'd have to see. Um, I, I would also be fine with doing Over the Hedge. Um, you know, that's that's a game that I did an LP of. I accidentally just threw her directly into the fireworks. I actually remembered this one. It's very strange having these uh, challenges, like, come back into my memory. It's sort of weird how it works that way sometimes. Especially with the internet. Like, uh, on Twitter the other day, someone just posted a picture from this uh, State Farm commercial from the mid-2000s. Where, you know, it's just the classic State Farm commercial where one of them says the jingle and then the guy comes up and then they say, you know, with a and then an object they want and then that thing appears. Um, and uh, the one dude who says, can I get a hot tub? And they just, it was just a picture of that kid with can I get a hot tub as the caption. And it was just crazy how instantly I just felt <clears throat> this memory of this thing that I have never thought about since I last saw it in, like, over a decade just come back and wash over me into my brain. It was very strange. And that's kind of the feeling I was getting doing this part of this game, because I remembered the story mode, and I remembered the actual levels and stuff pretty well. But I, I had completely memory hold all of this shit. I still have no idea why the recording of that voice is so lo-fi. Like, there's other voice acting in this game, and it doesn't sound like it was recorded on a, you know, fucking car radio. But anyway, uh, you know, maybe I'll do another poll th later this week to sort of see what sorts of games people would do, or if just in the comments you want to tell me, like, Over the Hedge or whatever, or if you'd like to see a few more Let's Tries of other games, you know, just to have a few more options. There are other ones that I've never played that I'd like to, you know, do a blind Let's Try of, and then because they're short, maybe play through them. I could probably do it in like a day or two if I really wanted, um, with some of the ones I'm thinking. But I don't know, I, I guess, I, I think before I do a poll, I'm gonna like try to give a good faith effort to a couple other ones. Um, just to see how I like them. And I mean, I'm also trying to play through longer games. Like, I'm, I'm trying to find another longer game that I can do after GTA 4. Not that, you know, I don't have ideas for ones, but I, I would like to have other games of, you know, suitable length that I haven't played before that I think could make interesting LPs if I play them and end up liking them, but it's a matter of doing that first part, and I'm fucking bad at video games, and, you know, I don't always just have, even in quarantine, don't always just have hours and hours of free time to be dicking around in a game that I'm bad at. It's one of the main reasons why I don't play a whole lot of very popular online multiplayer games like Overwatch or whatever is, be or, you know, I mean, I play TF2, but not very often anymore, and usually if I do, it's just with friends. Um, but I, I don't usually go on, like, you know, big public servers and those sorts of games, because if you haven't put, like, thousands of hours into getting good at the game, then sometimes you can't really do all that much, and I don't have the patience, desire, or time to really do any of that, so I, I just kind of don't. That's why I stay playing my licensed games for children, baby. But yeah, that was most of these are, are pretty easy. Slam the fuck out of that guy. Uh, this one was a little bit harder, mostly just because of the location. Um, but yeah, I need to get a PS2 emulator going because there are a lot of games that are exclusive for the PS2, or at least they're on most of that of that era of consoles like they're also on the Xbox or GameCube and I obviously have a GameCube emulator already set up but uh, the GameCube ROM sucks like there are a few games like Nicktoons Unite I don't know what it is but the ROM is sort of fucky 
I'm sure there's something I could try to to fix it, but I that would require thinking. And I mean, I want the PS2 emulator for PS2 exclusives anyway, so uh, I, I might as well just do it. But, because, uh, I mean, there are a lot of games for the PS2 that are exclusives that I'd want to play that I actually own, but... The problem is I don't have a capture card, and I don't have money to buy a capture card with, so it would be much easier to just have the emulator. Also, the reason that I don't have money is because, uh, another thing I wanted to mention is the continuing saga of me not getting my fucking stimulus check. Uh, today I... I found out that the IRS apparently set up a specific hotline for asking about questions about your stimulus check, and it's like a 1-800 number, and I called it today, and wouldn't you know it, it's a big pile of fucking dog shit. Um, it's just a bunch of automated messages that give you general information about who's eligible and who isn't, all of which you can find... Uh, explained verbatim the same exact way on the IRS website, which I've already dealt with. I've said before that my problem is that, you know, I, I've, you know, filed my taxes like a good little boy. I've gotten notification that, you know, they, they are there, they're in the record and everything that I, that I did that. I certainly qualify, um... And, you know, whenever I go to check my payment status or get my payment or to, you know, change my direct deposit information or whatever, even though the, di the direct deposit information should be all up to snuff with my taxes, because that was, like, part of it when I filed, but... Because I remember putting in, like, my bank number and everything, but... Uh... It still hasn't shown up, and whenever I do that shit on the only part of the IRS website that you can check for that information, it just says my payment status isn't available, and it's because either I haven't filed a return, they don't have the record for some reason, or I'm not eligible. And I know the first and third one aren't the case, so I guess it's the second one, but if so, then why the fuck is that the case? I did my taxes a month ago and you're the IRS, who else would have it? Uh, and how hard is it to just mail me my- just run me my fucking money, <laughs> please! Low-key, I want to buy a Switch with it, but most of it would just be going to not dying. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm not employed at the moment, like most people, and kind of strapped for cash, so... I would very much enjoy having... Uh, the money. And then, of course, I read all these things in the news about them being stolen in the mail, or, you know, banks are garnishing the checks to pay off their debts or whatever without people knowing, or they're accidentally being given to dead people, or they're being uh, given to the wrong addresses, and then people just take them. And I just get sad, and I'm like, you know what, maybe just fuck me. Maybe I just won't get the thing that I'm owed. The one time that the government uh, says that it's going to do me a solid and they're just going to not fucking do it for no reason. And Liv hasn't gotten hers either. I have lots of friends that haven't gotten hers, so got, gotten there. So I know it's not just me and something I did, but uh, whatever. Anyway, I completely talked over it, but yeah, we just fought ourselves. Shrek on Shrek action. Um, not a close match at all, really. I like how they just make it a different color shirt. Sometimes your most formidable enemies are yourself. And what the fuck did they do to poor Donkey? Uh, donkey uh, fell in the vat at the Crayola factory again. Oh boy, oh boy. Speaking of, like, colorful stuff in a DreamWorks thing, I was thinking about it lately. Uh, I was kind of just reminding myself of the DreamWorks animation canon, and noticing that pretty much all of the ones worth mentioning came out in the 2000s, with the exception of the How to Train Your Dragon movies, which the first one is still the best, but I think all three of them are pretty good. Um, and the first two Kung Fu Panda movies. And, like, three isn't bad. 
you know, not all of them are bad movies or anything. But I do think that in the 2010s, DreamWorks animation has become much more childish and simplistic with its stories and, and things. Uh, and also more, like, commercialized. Which is weird, considering how commercialized all the other DreamWorks shit in history has been. <laughs> but, whatever. Anyway, there you go. Perfect tourney. Uh, I'm perfect. I'm the perfect Shrek. But like I said, that's all I'm really going to be showing off for this for now. Just these few here. And I'm going to do the rest of these uh, in a stream at some point soon. Hopefully later this week. And uh, hopefully I'll figure out a good secondary LP to do for Tuesday and Thursday for the rest of GTA 4. Because we still have like a good half the game left. So uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys for the next thing.